Assalamu alaikum, my name is Fadil Manuel. I'm from a company called Alma Shushi. We're in Cape Town in the southern suburbs. I've been a chef for the past seven years. The Alma Shushi has been in existence for the past two years. And today, together with Kuka Lal, I'm going to be showing you how really easy it is to make some nice sushi. Um, I got into sushi while I was working at one of the big, at one of the big retailers. Um, they decided to open a sushi bar and I was really interested in um, learning how to make some sushi. They gave me the chance. I was doing it for the for let's say a week or two and I was really into it. I was doing good. I was a quick learner and that's exactly what I'm going to show you today. So how to make sushi. Nice, easy sushi. Right. To make some sushi, we're going to need the following ingredients. Some oil, soy sauce, salmon, tuna, prawn, cucumber, some fresh avocado, spring onion, ginger, wasabi, spicy mayo, some roasted sesame seeds, sticky rice, and some nori. Today I'll be making one of my personal favorites at Dalma Sushi. We call it the Salmon Aburi Toro Roll. Right. For this roll we will be needing some salmon, avocado, some soy sauce, spring onions and some oil. Right. So I have some, this, this is not ordinary oil, there's actually some um, olive oil mixed with sesame oil, some ginger and some garlic infused. Right? So let's get started. Right, so we're going to be starting off with a nori sheet. If you look at the nori, it's a sheet. You get the smooth side and then you get the rough side. Right? So we're going to be placing the rice on the rough side. Right? Nori sheet down. And we're going to wet our hands. This is just for a separation from the rice so the rice doesn't stick to your hands. Right? So you're going to need some sticky rice about the size of a uh, and full the size of a tennis ball. Let's say that, the size of a tennis ball. Right, so you're going to put the rice in the center of the nori, like that. And then you, what you want to do is you want to spread it out. Spread it out to all the edges evenly. And you don't want to press too hard because you want the roll to be nice and light. Right? So you just, you just want to cover, just want to cover the sheet of nori. So now that your nori is covered with the rice, I'm going to flip it over and I'm actually going to use the bamboo mat today to show you how to roll it to get it into a nice shape, nice and neat shape. So as you can see that this bamboo mat is covered with some cling wrap that is just to give the roll a nice smooth look when it's done. Right? So you're going to take your bamboo mat and place your nori sheet on top there. You're going to leave about Two and a half to three centimeters from the bottom. That's gonna. That's the space you're gonna need to roll that all over, right? Okay. So let's start. I like to start with my um, with my veggies first. So I'm gonna need some apple for this. So just wanna slice it down the center. Open. Okay. It's just gonna be needing two strips of avocado. Not too thick, not too thin. Let's say about a seven millimeter thickness would be fine. Is that on there? Okay. Okay, what we're gonna need is some nice fresh Norwegian salmon, right? There's different types of salmon, Alaskan salmon, um, Canadian salmon, but the sushi grade salmon is the Norwegian, right? So we're gonna need about two strips of salmon. Just gonna slice it into sashimi. Yeah. Just going to spread it along the avocado, just like that. Right, now for the rolling part. Right. Remember you're going to have to leave two and a half to three centimeters at the bottom. Right. So you're going to take your two thumbs, lift up the mat, use your four other fingers to keep in the ingredients and you're going to roll with your two thumbs while keeping in the ingredients. So you're just going to push over, 
Let me push it right over. Right. So over there you have about a centimeter left. That centimeter is needed to bind the roll. So once you have that, you're just going to give it a nice press with a four. You're going to tuck it. You see the one centimeter over there? And then you're going to take the two, the 2.5 millimeter that you left over. You're going to just push it over and roll it over. Just like that. Give it a squeeze. Roll it completely over. Squeeze. Right. And that's what your roll is going to look like. Nicely tucked in. Right. So to top this roll, we're going to need some salmon belly. It's the belly part of the salmon. You can see it's slanted. So we're going to need a few strips of that just to cover the roll on top. Nice thin slices. You can see me wetting the knife just to give her a nice clean cut. So you want to roll it down all the way down. So you can just cut through. So we just want enough strips just to cover the top of the roll. Just gonna put it across and not straight. It just looks much better. Yeah, so that's about five strips depending on how thick you cut it. Right, so once that is done, I'm gonna use the bamboo mat again. The clean bamboo, bamboo mat for the nice, sleek appearance. The bamboo mat is actually only used for shaping of the roll. Right? So what you want to do is you just want to put your bamboo mat, cover the roll, tuck it in on the sides. So once that is off, you can see it's nicely shaped, clean on top. Right, so now we're going to cut this roll into eight portions. Once again, we're going to dip our knife in our dipping bowl for a nice clean cut. Right? So what you want here is you want equal portions. So the easiest way to do that is to start in the center, in the middle. You just want to slide your knife through. So once it's sliced in the center, you're going to center it all the way to get the even cut. So now the cut through. Now that the roll is done, now you want to plate it. For this particular roll, we're going to plate this in a zigzag motion. There. We're going to use our infused, infused sesame oil with the garlic and the ginger. We're going to just need an a egg brush. Just mix it up a bit. You want to get some of the garlic and ginger on the brush. So you're just going to give it a stir. You're just going to brush. Only going to brush the salmon on top. Only the salmon you're going to brush. And then we're going to take some soy sauce for the flavor. Just pour a little bit on top. It doesn't matter if you don't get it all on top. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we're going to come to the fun part, the fire part. We're going to sear this roll on top. All right, so let's just start the blowtorch. So what you want to do here is you want to keep your blowtorch about 20 to 30 centimeters away from you because we only want, we just want to lightly sear it on top, just lightly. All right? So you're going to move along, up and down, because we only want it to be seared lightly, lightly. As soon as we see the color change, that is what we want. Right. We can even do the inside of it. Right, so I've seared this just a little bit. I just seared the top. If you take off the strip, you'll actually still see some raw inside. But that's what you want. You still want the, 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 you still want the oiliness in the, in, in the salmon. You know, you don't want to lose that texture. So you just want to sear it a bit. Right? So, to top of this roll, we're going to need some spicy mayo, right? Some spices and some chili sauce mixed with the mayo in, inside, right? So just want to put a, a blob, a blob on each piece, right? 
Okay, let's just put this plate over here. It's just a nice blow on each piece. Go. Some finishing touches, some nice thin sliced spring onions. Not too much, because it's very potent and you already have um, some garlic and ginger on it. So not too much. And the final part, some roasted sesame seeds. It's a dead, not too much. Then we're gonna finish the plating with some fresh wasabi. And some pickled ginger. Soy sauce, chopstick, right so that's your aburi toro roll, so now I'm going to show you how to make something else, but your rice is actually the most important thing in sushi, so I'm making the fashion sandwich a bit different, first of all it's going to require, the difference is this roll is going to require rice on both sides, so you're gonna need rice a bit thinner on each side. Don't want too much rice. Speaking about the rice, you're also gonna need, um, you can't just use any rice, right? You're gonna have to use sushi rice or any calcare of rice, right? So fill your pot with the rice, water. Wash the rice until it runs clear. One and a half parts of water to rice. Cook for 20 minutes. Once it's cooked, Steam for 20 minutes. So we have rice on both sides. It's called the fashion sandwich. Okay, so I'm gonna make a spicy prawn fashion sandwich, right? So we're just gonna put on some spicy mayo. Just enough so it covers the rice. Spread it out. Just covers it. Okay. So a fashion sandwich, you know, notice it has about, it has four layers of rice, right? So to get that four layers, currently it's two layers, right? So to get the four, you can split the, the sheet into two, right? Cut through the center, right? Let's just show you. It's two layers, it's another two layers. So when we put it on top, it's gonna make the four layers, right? So now we're gonna need some avocado. One thin slices. Place it only on the one side. So now we're going to put another layer of spicy mayo on top. This is just to make the prawn stick to the ever. Best prawn to use in sushi is, or the only prawn is the venomai prawn. Okay. Right, so now we're going to the other part on top. Alright, so your prawns. Right, so now we just want to press the roll. Top. Sesame seeds on the top. Both sides. Right, cutting process the same. We can cut it in eights to get equal portions. We're going to cut it all through the center. Center, you can even double up the roll, same with the California. Center. And that's your spicy prawn fashion sandwich. Right, so there we have two easy rolls I prepared for you today. Uh, for more of these great recipes, you can visit downmysushi.co.za. You can also visit kukalal.com. I hope I made this easy for you. Enjoy your Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.